Welcome to Tony's Online Tuning Class. Our hope is to help you make positive changes in your life with these recordings by providing you with guided messages from Spirit. This tuning class will give you the means to enhance your energy through the use of tuning forks, crystals, meditation, and distance healing. These energy-driven classes do not alter or shift your energies, but to help you release outdated thoughts and beliefs from your past to help you feel lighter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your vibrational growth with us. Shines bright at a thousand watts. You want to make sure that by the time it comes into your system, it's also at that same intensity. And it only comes by hanging on to whatever that light is and not listening to the people that only see faults in themselves that is expressing their faults and splashing on you. Does that make sense? That's what we're going to be clearing today. You'll have clarity in so many things that you do. Somebody will say something and say, no, and I don't know why. They don't even have to check it. They just know that there's something wrong. What kind of light are you seeing? Are you really that convicted in what you do? Or is it something your mind is making up? If your mind is making it up, it's really hard because there's no soul star that's involved. Remember, whatever you're doing right now is because of that profession chose you. You just happen to sort of answer the call, okay? If you really love what you do, okay? If you're a singer, a dancer, if you're a teacher, you might have started off and saying, okay, I want to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or whatever. And somewhere in there, they said, you know, this isn't really my passion. And then you follow that. That's that light. You're not there to please someone else humanly that, yes, you did a great job. I really, it's the first thing that we do. So when a person has a really strong chakra here, they're very certain that what they do. And there's so much information in there. And the ringing in the ear and all these other things are your validations that you're getting that information as you're going through it. When somebody says you can't do something, do you buy into it? Their opinion is strictly what's the limitations they see in themselves. The biggest thing we want you to do today is I want you to think of all the people that has told you you couldn't do something or that you would never amount to something. I want you to think of all those people over the years that gave you that. Because even though you move through it and have all that, that's the little snow that's outside of your skylight. In this meditation, what we're going to do is have you go on top of the house or get on top of the car. And I want you to see what is there. Some people will see snow, like very light snow that's impeding the light before it goes into the window. Other people will see dirt. Other people will see leaves. Make a note of those things. It doesn't matter really what it is, but for you, you'll see something, but in the end, the reason that there's not enough light will be the same. It's blocked. Something is in its way. Whether you use a rake or a shovel or a broom or a leaf blower to blow off some of that stuff on top of the house or on top of your car so that you could see this window. The other thing I want you to look at is what shape do you see this window? that is on top of your head. Some people will see it as a square. Some will see it as a circle, an oval, whatever. Okay, so we'll talk about that. And once we sort of clear that off, we could clear most of the debris. That rag that we had last week, remember when we started shining and polishing this on the inside? We're gonna be doing the same thing on the outside. And you're gonna start clearing counterclockwise, you're going to take this polish rag. If you haven't been here last week and when you clear off whatever's on top of the, uh, the house or whatever on top of the skylight and you can see the window, then I want you to start polishing this on a counterclockwise with a white rag that you'll pull out of your pocket. Then as you do that, realize that that rag is made of light. Make sure you breathe on the glass. So the glass that you see there, you know, when, when you breathe on a piece of glass, you get that fog. 
somehow your vocal energy has to ignite itself to blow this on to start clearing it. Very powerful. Okay, I want you to get comfortable in a chair. Lie down on the floor, a yoga mat or something. If you wish to lie down and have your feet up, which some people are doing, which is okay. It's actually less stress for the, uh, the heart to pump. In this process where I'm going to be sending energy to you, we're going to be opening up that energy like a flower. When I say the phrase, I'll see you in about 20 minutes, in that time, I want you to just very slowly get yourself out of your body and go on top of this house and then just see what is on top of where your skylight would be located at the top of this house. All right, there's a skylight there. And if you can't find it, that's what we're working on. Those are all those people that threw snow and debris in between the light and that window. And once you locate it, you will see it because like in real life, you'll see little indentations in the snow. There is an indentation in your energy. So you will see that bit of a dip. And then we can start sweeping, clear it off, and then start polishing. Take a nice deep breath, everybody. Make the intention. May the power of this tuning give the souls that have connected to us a higher vibration than they are presently going through. And anything that they are shifting in their energy, altering or changing in some way, make it as gentle as possible. As they still need to perform their normal daily functions, make it gentle to the point that it stretches over so our bodies can absorb it. And we ask that I'll ride with this energy at this time because it is a transformational letting go energy. Anything that is heavy, give us the insight to be in that position to let, start letting some of it go or all of it if we're ready. Nice deep breath. Just focus on your breathing. Try and inhale as much as you can, just until it would start to hurt a little bit, but just before that, and then blow out anything that feels confining. Turn it into a ball and just blow it out of your next breath. All stresses, all obligations, don't apply now. Over these next half hour or so, this is all about you. Start shaking off some of the stresses you've had this week. Some of the people that you've met. Some of the experiences that you've had. And just let it all run down. And let everything go. Nice deep breath. I want you to just focus on your heartbeat now. See if you can feel your heartbeat in your ear, your forehead, on your face. Can you feel your heartbeat in any other part of your body? Some people will feel it in their knees or their feet or their hands. Thank you for listening to my online tuning class. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours to process how you are feeling, which gives the body a chance to catch up on what you have cleared today. As these are powerful energy clearing classes that help relax our bodies and assist to reduce stress. If you know of anybody that could benefit from this for future classes, please spread the word. We are located on our Facebook page called Group Tuning Class with Tony. And until next time, namaste.